Jamcracker platform comes with a proven billing and invoice management for all the type of services onboarded on the system. Let us watch this video to understand about the cloud monetization models. The cloud ecosystem typically supports the following cloud monetization models. Subscription recurring model based on company provisioning. Subscription model based on user provisioning. Pay as you go or usage based model. Combination of all of the above. In this model, the company is charged up front on the date of the provisioning and then on the bill run date. Amount is based on the number of licenses provisioned for the company. A popular example of a service which is sold in the subscription based model is Microsoft Office 365. For example, if 10 licenses of this offer is provisioned on Jan 5th at the price of $20 per month, the customer will be charged up front for the licenses. Typically the first invoice will be billed on pro-rate basis for 26 days and then subsequent months will be billed for $20 on the bill run date. To recap, this model offers a flat rate billings and has several advantages. However, sometimes this model is not suitable especially if the billing needs to be based on consumption. This is a variation of the subscription model that was billed based on the number of licenses ordered by the company. In this model, an enterprise is billed for the actual number of licenses assigned to different users. Let us assume that the Yammer service is charged at $20 per user. As in this example, the organization will be billed based on total number of licenses assigned to users, which is three users in this case for the actual number of days used. Next month onwards, the platform charges the recurring amount based on the actual number of users who are active on the bill run date. To recap, this model offers billing based on the number of users assigned to the SaaS service. Beneficial to the cloud enterprises as the billing is based on the actual licenses used. However there are few disadvantages for this model as indicated here. Usage based billing is the billing model where customers are billed automatically based on the actual usage or consumption. It is a billing method that has been widely used by businesses like telecom companies where the usage is measured by how many units a customer has actually used. A popular example for usage based service is the on demand virtual machines offered by Amazon EC2 services that is charged based on the usage after the consumption. Here the enterprise is charged only at the end of the billing cycle based on the actual consumption of the previous period. In this case, although the stack may have been provisioned on the 5th of January, the usage amount is billed only on the bill run date of 1st February similarly the next month onwards, the enterprise will be billed based on the actual consumption. For usage-based services, the platform bills based on the usage after considering a cutoff period. This cutoff period is configured by the cloud administrator based on the time required for processing the usage data before billing it. Typically, the platform recommends two or three days as the cutoff and considers the usage that is processed till this cutoff date. In this example, the cutoff period has been configured to two days. Assuming the bill run date is the first of the month, the usage of the previous two days in this case, the usage of 30th and 31st January is not included in this billing cycle. The platform bills for usage process till the 29th Jan and the remaining two days is billed in the next cycle. This model has its share of pros and cons as seen here. Enterprise benefit by paying only for the actual volume of resources consumed but have a challenge to predict the cloud expenses. It is possible to offer different services, one build on a fixed rate and another on usage. For example, a cloud reseller could offer Microsoft Office 365 service and bill it up front but charge the customer for AWS services at the end of the billing cycle based on the actual consumption. Similarly, a cloud partner can offer service at a fixed rate based on the active users assigned to the service and later charge the usage-based charges at the end of the billing cycle. Sometimes a single cloud service could have a fixed or flat rate in addition to the usage component. So a cloud messaging service could be billed up front at a flat rate of $9.99 and the usage amount could be based on the number of actual messages sent out through the application. Thus, the Jamcracker platform provides a flexible cloud monetization model and allows the administrator to configure the service offer with subscription-based, usage-based, or user-based billing model. Thank you for watching this video for more details please visit docs.jamcracker.com